And I believe you're already up. Good afternoon, Speed Gaming, and welcome to another Daily Race with Casual Boots. I'm Tepedino, and I'm here with Goen Katana. Hey, Goen, it's nice to meet you. It's the first time we've come together, I believe. Yep, it is. Uh, well, welcome, nice to meet you as well. It looks like the runners are getting started off now, so let's see what happens. All right, so Casual Boots. Um... Oh yeah, the schedule boots. Uncle, uncle, we have boots. Uncle doesn't have to tell us what it is. My bad. <laughs> yep, so we started off with a big 300 uh, rupees. Um, and to anyone who does not know, this is the return of the weekly uh, casual boots race that uh, we used to do on Saturdays way back. I'm going to be honest, I did not know it was a thing. It, I, when I saw the announcement, I was really happy that that was coming, but I really didn't know it, it existed. Yep, it's one of my favorite modes, honestly. Uh, we got a little bit more cash from Uncle and uh, Heart Piece in the front chest, or the lamp chest, so now we're going to be making our way back and seeing what we can find down here. I'm, I'm honestly hoping for early fire rod. No, not, not, not lamp. Fire rod. Kind of really like an early fire rod. It makes for uh, such an interesting logic reading. Yeah, I agree. Um, having a fire rod early is fun. Uh, me, particularly, I like seeing a cape early on because of the nefarious implications that can have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just because I like watching the streamer suffer. Well, that's, that's why we're here, right? It's our job making them cursing to see. Yeah, usually, though, the evil seeds are when I'm tracking, though. Common, <laughs> when I'm calming, it's generally a little bit nicer. Not six and a half. What? Oh. Oh, very nice spin there from Bumble. And... Doctor Nova is doing the same thing or something similar. Yeah, it's a. It, I, it, I always like when people do the the hundo strat, uh, clanking in the door and and going under. It's 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 pretty beautiful. Yep, I agree. So let's see if uh, everyone. Let's see. Bumble and Lana are using the same strat to take down the ball and chain guard. Sunshine's gonna use the pot. Oh, 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 Darkonar is, has uh, one and a half hearts, so pretty dangerous, oh good, one more hit, alright, we're all good, we all know the, that Falling Chain is the real final boss, right? For me it was always the, um, the red guards on, uh, Aga Tower. Yeah, they're pretty nasty. Oh wait, uh, the the sword or the the trident ones? The sword, okay. guys. The, the trident you can at least like fight them because they always try and step back. But those sword guys are aggressive. Yeah, and they're faster, and I, I think they're just as fast or faster than you. So, oh yeah, they're definitely really bad. annoying. Um, it, they're, they're, it's really annoying. All oh, right, so we do have the small key and already found the map, so we have four items looking for us. Uh, and we did find bombs, so we don't have to worry about that. But uh, I especially like casual boots over, over casual or standard, because uh, you don't have to worry about bombs for the back of skate. Since you can actually bonk the, the, the crack wall. Yep, and it's just nicer like i think most of the runners probably use casual boots as kind of like the distressing i just want to play the game mode True. i do i do think however that um that uh casual settings does incentivize uh the player to learn the uh price max a little bit oh yeah definitely we found the red boomerang uh in the back of escape so so far nothing really notable let's see if the uh 
Let's see if the Mac 3 chests give us anything interesting. Heart. Heart. And money. Two for three. That would have been great if it was just three heart containers. Oh, yeah, it would be fantastic. I'm really enjoying this MSU. Let me see if I. Do you, do you have it from what MSU that is? I believe we're starting Sea of Stars. Because our trackers were really, really lit up when they saw that option. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I know it moves from the lair. Yeah, it's absolutely insane stars. No, you're here. No, you're here. And we have check. Was it was it Eastern Green Pendant? And I saw Eastern Green Pendant and Hera was six, but I did yeah. not see Desert. Yeah, Hera was. Yeah, Hera was six. Um, Red Pendant Eastern. And like they keep checking it too fast for me to see what desert was. Uh, desert yeah, is can... blue pendant, so vanilla pendant desert. Interesting. Oh, I thought it was a green pendant on on Eastern, but still, two two uh, white dungeons. Is... Eh. Interesting. Uh, one thing I would I wish. Oh wait, there's a oh and a hook shot and um. Either medallion on bumper jack ledge too, so this is a uh, starting starting to have to make some possibly interesting routing choices. Um, Aga is still in logic because we do not know what the Meyer and Turtle Rock medallion requirements are. We're way too early for that, so we may need to climb the tower. And we know for a fact we know for a fact that at least one of them is going to be a crystal. So, yep. Sun Prize is just the heart. Uh, heart. Bumble grabs Bombos Medallion from uh, Lost Woods. I'm, I'm really interested in this Lana uh, display from Lana. I'm just skipping Cac and doing Salt Char first. Ooh, There's your early fire rod. Yeah, yeah, fire rod. Yep, Vanilla Mushroom. So we have a lot of really open-ended routing choices right now just of what we're looking at with hookshot fire rod bombos mushroom now, if a lot of finds here an early flute or an early bottle it could be a big deal grab my statue Ooh, and case. Samaria for Bumble and Blind's Hut. The interesting thing is that they have no um, pieces for um, Dark World access yet. Yeah, like, they, they have a decent setup for, like, dungeon clearing and stuff. They have damage, but this is a progression hunt right now. Yeah. And there's the cape and master sword. <laughs> so, Lana... Gotta love it. Lana, you do not have Mulberl, so that won't work. Fire yeah. on bottle vendor. So Lana set up water walk and then did the uh, thing and unfortunately, hopefully there won't be anything in the waterfall. Alright, yeah, nothing remarkable. Waterfall. Let's hope that uh Zora's got progression as illogical as it would be right now. Oh! Oh! Okay, so Lana oh. got an out of logic flute. That uh, is pretty huge. So that really, really makes you wonder where the gloves are. Or the flippers. Uh, I would say Eastern. I would guess Eastern. 
feel like we'd find the answers in Flint Easter. And now uh, Lana's going to get the potential bad news about the seed, seeing the Ether Medallion. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried a little bit about Old Man Sunshine because they went actually to very close to Sora and didn't have the money for it. So there's a chance they might isolate Sora for, for a little bit longer. Interesting. I, think I, mean, yeah, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because of uh, just the, the logic. Logical I suppose. Um, it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a, a, you know the allure of having a early flute. Oh yeah, no, definitely. It it, it definitely gives Lana an, an early advantage if she can continue to be mindful of the logic. She's, you know, all four. Or we know. Most of these runners very well. They've been around for a while, so we definitely know that they do have a mind for the logic. So, yeah, so looking at this, it seems like our lamp's going to be in the either, sorry, not lamp, glove or flippers. It's going to be an Easter. Based on what everybody else has looked at, right? Yeah, I think. Or a Gina. The... It could be a Gina, yeah. Um, I would laugh if a Gina was a book. Put us in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nasty. I hate. I... Uh, the, the, the two dungeons I hate is Eastern without a bow and Desert without a. Uh... Gods. Oh, I hate those. It feels so bad. Yeah, but I mean, it would be kind of funny to have it be like a, um, you know, like get 75% of the way through desert. You don't need to complete mm -hmm. it because there's like nothing useful on uh, Lamos. Makes sense. Well, I'm always hoping for the for uh, the ice rod and on pad, right? So uh, I'm one of those people. And now we have a point where I believe all four runners are looking at the reality that they may have to climb Castle Tower now while Lana activates her flute. Actually, they can't. They don't have land. Well, they still have a number of logical checks. Yeah. I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, it's just ether. I don't, I don't think, it, uh, uh, and I, I believe that before we see that, at least Lana will see uh, checking the, the mountain, especially because of the hug shot because, before actually going up mountain. Uh, go, uh, up Castle Tower. I mean, yeah. Uh, but it's also currently not logical. Oh, yeah, sure. Like, that. that's just the big thing that I'm trying to think about is the logic mm -hmm. of the seed. And let's see. Chat, does Fire Rod put Aga in the logic? I actually don't personally remember. Uh, I think it does not. I think there, it's there, just there. the lamp, right? Yeah, just the lamp, because there are there are dark rooms in Aga that do not have lamps to lit up, if I remember correctly. Uh, and even there, I'm pretty sure that it does not put in logic, especially because of the complexity of it. It put the chest in logic. I believe the very first dark room in Aga Tower uh, does not have torches. Take a look there. Yeah, I want to say you're right. Um, and I know. I know it doesn't put Aga in logic. That I, I, I'm, I'm confident of that much. I don't know if the the second chest is in logic. Yeah. Uh, to confirm, uh, there are two rooms 
and three rooms in in Aga Tower that do not have uh, torches in it, including the the very first one, the very very first dark room. So Fire Rod does not put the second check in logic, and does not put a second check in logic. All right, old man saved. It's funny to see the old man being saved and being in the, another room, uh, another game at the same time, right? Yep. And there's Quake from Old Man, so uh, interest like very interesting implications. Getting that Quake from him. We have all the cookies. Ooh, bottle on top. Let's see. Bumble. Let's see, everyone but Lana is going to be making their way towards uh, Eastern Palace. So let's see what we get. So Green Pendant Thieves Town. All right. So do we have pretty much all the information we need? Oh, it's a mail and oh, and the glove. So we we have knowledge. We have knowledge for uh, red mail then. Yep. Yep, and as chat says, with that knowledge that Thieves Town is our green pendant now, we know that the flute is logically required, uh, since we will have to do Misery Mire. That's so true. Well, we know for a fact that Lana is not going to find both gloves here, so to check Dark Death Mountain, we will need at least one more uh, trip up. Uh, oh, and we have early. to land. Okay. Yep. Which food can't so tell me in logic. Well, let's see. So that would mean that the... Ooh, bro. Think. Okay, so we had the gloves at Sarashala, so I... Into the flute at Zora's. To go to the mountain. Okay, not a particularly difficult string of logic, but uh, not fun. Now, there is an interesting question. Uh, Lana's going to finish uh, Spiral Cave, right? Uh, which is also a logic thing, takes it out. Oh, no, I, I, I said Spiral, I thought Spike. But Spiral Cave, in case uh, we don't have the hammer there, do you just go climb uh, Aga Tower or do you go to Eastern? since you found a boat. That is, that's an interesting question. Personally, I would probably do Eastern just because it's a relatively quick set of checks mm -hmm. for the front. And since it's not required, I'm not too concerned about having to actually go back into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it, if it was a crystal, it wouldn't really be a discussion, but being a pendant is really interesting. Yeah, I mean, realistically, it's an easy three checks. Mm -hmm. And there's a chance for the ice rod on pad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, we never checked Magina, have we? Yep. Interesting. See, Dark getting bullied by those dead rocks. As is tradition. Oh!
That is huge. Lana's about to find the second love there. Not an Agassiz. Yeah. Not sure yet. Could still be an Agassiz. Well, I mean, Lana going to get her second glove. Mm -hmm. Duh, I mean, that gives her Dark World access. It does. But we don't know what the medallions for, for her rock and, uh, and Matt Meyer are. True, so but I'm also they're... not like two out of three. I would honestly be a little surprised if they, if one of them was either either at the moment. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but I mean, it's uh, just not 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 confirming yet. Yeah, and we do have we do have an early play for for Aga from Bubble. Yeah, which is honestly, it's a it's a route I like personally. I like. I like them going up and trying it, um, mm -hmm. even if it is a time commitment. Yeah, I I am not a big fan. Not with those flute, with that flute, with that flute. I really want. Uh, I I really think Akina becomes a uh, much checkable. But at the same time, oh, what we have here. So our reds are. Oh, our red is fire. Yep. Yeah, and the other one we already have. Uh, but of course, uh, if there was nothing at Gina, it would be a good play, right? <laughs> it would be interesting play, I guess. Uh... Yeah, no, agreed. There, there are very few things that would make me want to do or climb Aga Tower. Um, a medallion is kind of like towards the bottom of that list. Mm -hmm. And as we were talking here, Lana might uh, finds finds ether oh I, I don't think she was very pleased finding that shield <laughs> absolutely not lana is very well known for not liking shields and uh, but shields are I awesome agree. shields are awesome oh we have turtle rock ether all right so bumble went and made a good decision <laughs> It is an Aga seed. In the, in the <laughs> final hour, Aga comes in clutch for us. I, I, I bet Lana's probably seething a little bit at that knowledge, honestly. Because I, I would probably be too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I wouldn't blame it. It's so bad. All right, so Lana... See, me Lana's Lana. going straight for her castle tower. Does not care. Yes, Lana. Uh, all four runners scouted Lumberjack Ledge, so they all know uh, that it's either. Um, let's see. Dark and Lana both gonna do their climb while Old Man's crawling through Skull Woods, which is a good decision too. Having that fire rod, it's I think completable. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I like Lana doing this because she has Fire Rod and, uh, and, uh, Tempered Sword. But honestly, it's not, even with that medallion, it's not something that would be in my, my top list to, to do, you know. I, I would love to find a mirror first. Yeah, this is this is great battle music. I think that was three for uh, Aga. I don't know. I'm really bad at counting. Is there something? Yeah, Ether Medallion is a Lumberjack. And Ether opens to Rock as far as we know. We do not have info on um, Mr. Meyer yet. Alright, and Bumble finally completes a very, very rude Aga 1 fight. <laughs> as Old Man Sunshine hops into Mothula. Ooh, GLs. 
And now we're going to get to see Pyramid Ledge, which is just blueberries. Bumbles? Oh, I think Bumble is doing the um, catfish into um, left side play, I guess, with the boat, with that hook shot. I mean, it honestly, kind of oh makes sense. no! You see, and yeah, that that that's doubly hurt, hurtful to me because old man sunshine is kind of like. He's not in a particularly good place compared to everyone else right now, even though he is set up to get the first crystal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Oh, you didn't check that first, so oh, man. That, that half magic would have been huge. It's really huge right now, because it refills old man's magic and can actually try again. And it kind of just lets him, uh, <laughs> he'll be able to hop in and kind of bully Mothula in retaliation now. Ooh, nice bombos. That's very true. Chat is pointing out only Lana knows that Aga is. Wait, uh, only a, a Lana. No, actually, no. Uh, Old Man Sunshine also knows that Aga is not needed for the third world. I mean, he is in the dark world and hasn't done Naga Tower. Yep, big shout out to Bug Knight's friends there. All right, and we at 26, 57, Old Man Sunshine gets its first crystal for the seed. Uh, and just goes to show you that he had a hard time. Even with blue mail and red mail, Mothula still puts up a heck of a fight. Because that room is the actual, is the true boss. Yep. Very well done. Yeah, so Old Man Sunshine found the um, half magic and uh, under the, the bridge there and uh, threw a rock back uh, and Skullbutt's back. Yep, which I take as a sign of the seed saying that uh, Mothula is going to be a pain in the butt regardless of what mail you have. <laughs> which is always, let's be honest. Matula, Matula has days, and those days are days. Yep, and uh, Old Man also got Powder, which, uh, great safety. Um, personally, my favorite safety. I can't remember. Where was the Powder in? Was it here in Skullwoods? Yeah, it was here in Skullwoods. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see, I don't think Lana's actually been in a position, because Lana hasn't gone into uh, Skull Woods yet. To... Oh, Powder was Eastern? Okay. Oh, yeah, Powder was in Eastern, yeah. I, I was going to mention something about it, and then I realized, oh, wait, you can't do anything with it. You don't have the hammer. I, I, as for getting your shield, Ethan, to be honest, I, I, I don't think it's just for, I don't think it's worth the time. Yeah, I agree. I, there's no, like, there's no love lost for me if I get a shield or anything. It's just, some people don't like it. Um, And I know that with the standard, the, the current update, uh, you, being fast ROM now and it making its way across the community, uh, mo a lot of that lag is not really 
there anymore, so there's not really concerns about the shields or mirror shield causing lagging. Uh, I mean, depending uh, on, let's see. Depending on the mean, version you're playing now. There wasn't even a lot of lag to begin with, and so it's more of a having issue versus not. I don't know. Uh, one thing, one thing I'll point out is that um, if you, it, it, I know it's just one item left in in Skullwoods, but if you're gearing, uh, is not the best. Checking the item below before going to the boss is a good idea. There, there's a good chance you find like a sword or something that will help you there. In this case, it would be half magic. Yep. Let's see. Now, old man going into Thieves Town, making his chest. Oh, yes. Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, that one doesn't like their, their shields. <laughs> uh. All right, says so uh, Old Man Sunshine's going to make his way back towards uh, the actual dungeon part of Thieves Town, and the other three are going to go ahead and push their way through Skull Woods as Bumble just finished Mothula. Uh, going to take a moment, shout out, get, uh, go ahead and give our trackers, uh, Art Tarl and Solit, a follow, as well as my co commentator, Tepidino. Um, Tepidino especially stepping into the last minute for Pixcalibur, who was having te technical difficulties. So it's really great to have you here to help keep me uh, in track and answer the questions that I have that I forget. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I'm, I'm just happy to, have, to, to, to help. Alrighty. Oh, would you see uh, Old Man Sunshine going deep into Chiefs down there? Interesting. Very interesting. It makes me it, it makes me want to pad play even more. I mean, there's still plenty of things that peg could be. It's still very much in logic, or at least potentially in logic. Atlanta already taking some damage from the uh, spikes and the fireball because she has red mail and because of that the um, the giptos only deal like half heart damage I believe. Yeah, the uh, the horror of having early red mail. Yeah, imagine being too protected, right? I, I did not get a count on uh, old men's items to know if there's there's a item in the big chest. It would be interesting to find hammer in the uh, blind on blind blind them. Yeah, and it's nice to know that, that that's the only potential place it could be if Hammer was in this dungeon, for obvious mm -hmm. reasons. See, so Lana's going to go ahead and clear out the last of the checks in Skull Woods uh, as Dark picks up their half magic. Hey, green pendant for Old Man Sunshine there. Interesting. It's it's also awkward that uh, Sunshine is the only other the, the player that went with Lana early to Zora, but does not have the flu, and I don't think they'll have it anytime soon. To be perfectly honest, unless it finds a mirror. Oh, not even. 
Do you remember if Old Man Sunshine did um uh, catfish? I don't think so. That could be the the, the, the salvation and finding a mirror and going there. But I'll also be honest that there is, as relatively close and in step as our runners have been, they have also been wild in their checks. Oh yeah, for sure. Been very rapid fire and honestly a little difficult to keep track with all of them. Yeah, this seed has definitely been a seed. Ooh, pushing Smith, early Smith without the, the mirror. Interesting, I like that play. That is one of my nightmares, is having to do mirrorless Smith checks. Yeah, the the, the only awkward thing is that if if uh, Sunshine drops by half uh, Hype Cave and finds the hammer, like... Do you continue it with the, the thing, or do you go to pod or something, you know? I mean, you can't go to pod, right? Because you can't grab Kiki. I don't know how the, the, the Smith and Kiki interaction is. Yeah, I don't think you can grab both. Yeah, but does Kiki replace the Smith, or... Or do you just remain with the Smith? I don't know the specifics of it. I just know that you can't have both of them at once, so let's see mm -hmm. what Hype Cave has. Ooh, and flippers. there's our flippers! Okay. Oh, you're right back. So keeping track of all four, four runners, uh, it really depends on the type of race you have and the runners that you have. It, it can be difficult when you have... Uh, like four really well known or runners that are well known for doing like really out of logical or weird plays that may not be expected or you like if you have runners that are very very good at execution that they can just blow through a dungeon in like two minutes three minutes uh so you're busy checking everyone else out and they're done otherwise it, it's not too too hard you, you, it's part of why we try and we tend to want our runners to be of equitable uh, experience. See, meanwhile, Lana is Lana is also doing the mirrorless Smith checks. I apologize, I'm back. No, you're fine. You didn't miss much. Lana is also doing the Mirrorless Smith World Tour. Um, as both Lana and Dark uh, get their flippers from Hype Cave. Oh, that this catfish play from Old Man is... Oh, it can be problematic. One thing I was realizing, they can actually... Full clear to rock, aside from, from the boss, as soon as they find out him. It's been quite early, right? For that. Interesting. Yeah, no, we're, like, deceptively, deceptively close to go mode. But yeah, I think the, cat play, the catfish play uh, is might not be doing uh, Old Man Sunshine any favors, uh, especially as he goes over here to check King's Tomb. So we're going to get a good, our first look at King's Tomb, I believe. Yeah, but the, um, a lot of has already done, is a red rupee. Ah, okay. Yeah, while you're away, I did explain uh, to chat that keeping track of all four is not particularly hard. It's all about the runners that you have and the seed that you have, because of Obviously, we want all of our runners to be equitable in skill and experience because mm -hmm. runners who are good at execution can completely blow through while you're looking 
away. And Lana did just find a bottle in Meyer Hut. So... And, and we're going to Meyer. Because it's beatable. Yep, Quake Meyer. And it's a rare crystal. Yep. Like, uh, I've been playing key, mo key modes for a while. Meyer has two items, right? Regular? I want to say yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's been so long. <laughs> Where is this hammer? Probably Meyer. It really likes to be in Meyer. It's so surprising. How often you, you find hammer in early Meyer? Can it be in pad? Um, I don't think so. No, you can't. Uh, because we already have the small key for Chief Stout, uh, it's not hammer locked. So you technically can't have it. Uh, you can't have a pad. As long as we find a book. If we find a book, then absolutely can be on pad. Ironically, if the small key for. Chief Sound was inside the big key for Team Sound, big chest for Team Sound. That meant it, it was hammer locked. Yeah, go. Uh, Godmire only happens when we're not in go mode. Oh, very nice spooky action there. Yeah, that was a clean spooky on. Wait. Ooh. Actually, when look at it again, it, it was wow. I blinked I just, and it was done. Yeah, I just missed what, uh, like, I, I was trying to keep an eye on, uh, Old Man Sunshine getting that, ch uh, purple chest, but missed it. Yeah, I didn't see it either, or I was just focusing on London's. Lana putting back in. Back to Fire Out. I think she's going back in. And Darkna are having to deal with the same problem of having red mail, which is I'm to protect it. Kill me, Spike. And eleven hearts. Oh my god. Yeah. Just some bombs and pop up. Thank you. It's like there's a very safe seed, and unfortunately we don't need a safe seed. We need to live dangerously for our progression. So true. Interesting. Where is where is old man going? Oh, to the right side? Good pod, probably. He probably had one of those moments of uh, forgetting that he doesn't have Mirror and realizing mm. that he needs to check Zora. Yeah. We do have... Oh, no, we don't. We do have ice. Can't complete it, but it can do everything else, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, we can, we can do pretty, we can make pretty good progress in ice. Um, especially because we can do icebreaker. Change, icebreaker changed so much. It's impressive. Let's see. And, and the hammer. hammer. Alrighty. Yep. Yeah. Wait, ice rod was in yeah. pod? Simultaneously, Bumble picked up their ice rod in pod. Interesting. Oh, a lot of going for the, the cutscene. 
So there is an item there. I don't know, with, with that camera, and the, the way it opens so much stuff. I mean, soon in, what do you need for go mode? Do you only need the mirror? Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we only need the mirror. You have everything else. Huh. Interesting. Let's see what the cutscene has for us. Nothing. Okay. Interesting. Bumble dashing to Eastern? Yep, that. Yep, and uh, as Chad's saying, Lana won't have to double dip. Uh, Pod, which is a huge time saver. Because Pod is just an unnecessarily big dungeon. Yeah, and Bumble just delivered Green Pendant in its 20s. <laughs> Mirrors the blue item on Laser Bridge. Blue item on Laser Bridge? That's the story. I didn't know there was a s such thing. Yeah, I didn't know the chests were color coordinated. Yeah. What is it? Is it like it's laser bridge, like a wedding situation? Like you have some something borrowed, something new, or, or something? I don't know. I, 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 I'm not. I, there you go. Lana gets her shooty. It only took like a week for that. Just like Sword and Swamp, but not always. Oh, okay. All right. And now Old Man Sunshine's finally going to get that flute. Um, but late never. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's yeah. going to give him a chance to really hopefully start catching up with uh, everyone else. He, he is can't still... be a... oh, Go ahead. I'm sorry. He, he, he is behind, but he is still in a pretty solid position. Absolutely. To make quick progress. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, uh, it's all a matter of who finds the, the hammer. Like, we can we can tell that because a lot, uh, Lana found the hammer first, she is considerably ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, we, 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 we will need other runners to go to Meyer and uh, just do it, which is a good, which is viable. They have plenty of parts. Um, in fact, What's your what's your opinion on like going for pendant eastern instead of a uh, crystal Meyer? Oh, never mind, never mind. I apologize. I just realized neither Bumble or Darkenlord have mints. They can't do Meyer. Yeah, because they haven't gotten their second uh, their mitts from. Uh... Death Agina. Mountain. Agina. It was, Agina, yeah, Agina. Yeah, they, Agina. Did, they did Mountain. Um, yeah, because they haven't gone anywhere near uh, Desert. Yeah. That, so, that yeah, can... so <laughs> humorously enough, this is going to put uh, Old Man Sunshine into a good position if he yeah. had Quake. Oh, he doesn't have Quake? Where's Quake? Mountain? I think it was in the mountain, right? On the mountain. Yeah, I want to say it was on the mountain. Yeah. Wow, this is... complicated. Also missing a bow. Yeah, but the bow is not really required for... for... It's not really required for Meyer. It's just really nice to have. And there you go. Humble and Dark picking up their mitts almost simultaneously. That sick kid was hoarding arrows. Well, it's a good thing we got those out of his hands. Does Akina count as Meyer doormat? Yes. 
I 100% agree that, that Akina does count as Meyer Dorman. See, I think Meyer Hut's more of a a doormat. What's up? I feel like uh, Meyer Hut's more of the doormat. I mean, can have multiple entrances, right? Yeah, just like checkerboard caves, the side entrance that nobody likes. Exactly. And he always has that weird uh, crystal ball. Alright, All right, so Dark going into Meyer, which is the play they want to make. There's the laying dice round at the very least if he wants to avoid double dip pod. I mean, yeah, but. Like. Wait, where is Solana going? Checking under the bridge? Yeah, I'm under the bridge. And then Mirror keeps eluding us. I I feel like we're gonna have a swamp go mode. Like pretty soon, but uh and uh, in the sense that everybody's gonna find their ice rod before they've been going to the swamp. Yeah, I feel like given the given everything we have I feel like Mirror may be in the desert. Could be in TR. Yeah, it could be in TR. I I've seen it in TR enough times. For the years, I I'd, li I'd like for it to be in desert. At least give them something. At least give them in that case, where's the book? Because if the burger is in desert, we need the book. Uh, I would, I would jokingly say Swamp Palace. I, I, I still want a pad mirror, a, a pad, pad book. I've never had a pad book uh, progression. Yeah, the bow was free free. And because because Sunshine is going up with the mids, uh it's gonna find also um tempered and uh hook -shunted. Lana is the first runner who's actually going to be able to beat Pod uh, first time she's here. Dark and I are doing a few powder strats there to get health up. And Bumble's gonna find the. Uh, I think it was 20, uh, 10 arrows in cutscene, I think. I think it was a red groupie. Uh, oh, 10 arrows was a sick kid. I, my apologies, I don't know why I mixed those. Alright. And. It's because we're having to basically rapid fire note taking. Got a love game strats for this side. It's so so nice. I love doing it. Yeah. It's also dark has plenty of safety with that red mail, to like twelve hearts. Mm -hmm. You just face tank vitreous. I mean, it still deals two damage about. And Bubbles about find their hammer there. 
Alrighty. And I believe Old Man found his turd sword and Yep. Probably gone there going to admire for there. Feels like we have a much closer race now than uh between the the, the our tricky runners. Wait, Lana went straight to the boss. She never got the ice rod, right? Enough. Correct. Hmm. Hope she goes but comes back. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense going straight to Halma. I just hope that there is uh, she doesn't find a mirror. And, and Helma and decides that uh, Ice Round somewhere else. Yeah, not the case. Dark going to cutscene chest while Bumble goes to do their fight against Viddy. Great and Old Man Sunshine makes his way through the front porch. Alright, I feel things there. Is he the extra health? Yes. Good call. Oh yeah, it was, it was especially good for Mana, because you don't really want to uh, have to go to the boss after checking the backup pod. What you want is to, after after uh, beating the boss, to go to the back and save and quit from there. So, great routing. Yeah, but being knowledgeable of... Uh... Just how much of a trudge pot is, mm -hmm. and the fact that yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to be missing anything in pot. Um, oh, definitely not. It's one of those dungeons to where you're almost always gonna full clear, unless like the game makes it, the randomizer makes it brutally apparent that you don't have to. And there's the ice mm -hmm. rod. All right, we are one item from go. On a single player, it would be really interesting if the mirror was a magic bag. Has that power in Eastern? All right. Yeah, well, um, that 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 would be interesting. And I I know that three of our runners did definitely uh, take. The Smith on the World Tour, I think only one or two of them actually completed Smith's paint. Mm hmm I think only one. I think only Old Man and Sunshine did. Or, or was it? No, it wasn't him. I don't know. I, I, I forgot. Now, interesting thing here. Did, does Alana go straight for TR? Because she there is an argument to do Hera first. So you avoid climbing again because she if she doesn't find the mirror in TR she'll have to save and quit to go to Hera again and then uh, it could be in Hera yeah and Hera's a five it's minute weapon. yeah but it's I, 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 without the cutscene two, two minute top hoping for Jer Hera and GT probably but I mean, you could just go to the left there. Yeah, with with the fact that we're still looking for the mirror, mm -hmm. and yeah, like even with cutscene, yeah, no, I just I just do Hera, hoping to find the mirror there. It, it's quick. Mm -hmm. It's a crystal. Yep, absolutely agree with you. 
because the the last thing you want is I mean you can't dungeon the dungeon no the dungeon progression for TR can't be in Mimic Cave, correct? Uh what do you mean? Like uh Mimic Cave's not technically a part of the dungeon? It's not. So you can't find a small key or a big key there. You can't find the ice rod or even a fire rod. Yeah, um, and then obviously you're not gonna find the mirror in Mimic Cave either. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. Uh oh. So the, the the point about Hera and GT, I believe it was going to TR, finding the mirror, and then you go to Swamp, beat Swamp, and then when you go up to beat Hera, Hera you beat Hera right in front of GT. Which can be a thing, and, and if Lana finds the mirror in Hera, she to probably she'll most likely just go straight to Swamp, beat Swamp, and then do Hera. But there is the argument of the, the fact that uh, uh, Hera is not only a crystal, it's a red crystal. And you could have the mirror either in Hera or in back of uh, on Old Man, or on, on behind the Red Bomb. Yeah, you're uh, Pyramid Fairy. Book and pad mirror on Ether Tablet? How is it not po It's not possible? Why? Oh, oh yeah, because the book is on bad. It, yeah, it can't be because the book. Uh, you'd need the book to be the uh, desert. And I think I said that, and then I. I'm sorry. I hear fine. Uh, let's see, Bumble finishing out Old Stair. We get Crystal number three. As Dark pops in and immediately Bumble says, it. Oh, I got it. With, 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 um, with only Master Sword, uh, using Bumble's to, to fire rod your way in is by far the best choice, in my opinion. Absolutely, especially when you have half magic. You don't need to waste any time with him. Alright, nope. Mimic cave check, obviously. Yep, but we're getting close to the moment of reckoning for Lana's routing here. Yeah. Is it going to be the blue item in Laser Bridge? <laughs> I love that concept. <laughs> I, I, my experience is that uh, TR likes to have a bow. Oh wait! As you were saying. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, there's my book. <laughs> yeah, couldn't have asked for better timing. Nope. <laughs> look, look at that. You're 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 two and zero today for timing. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. As a bumble going back into pod and having a little bit of trouble getting those sword beams. A very nice laser skip there. Wow. Oh, there's our blue. There's our bomb. So. Can't have mirror. The blue item's already been found. Yeah. Well, there is a, 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 a the, the theory is there though. There is a blue a blue item on laser bridge. Let's see. I think based on the logic, we might see mirror on Trinex. We could. Because I, I want to say that Trinex has. Uh, has an item. I still want the book on Trinex and uh, mirror on pad. Lana going for the back door. Very nice kill there. Dash the other. Oh, sweet. Very nice one cycle there. Yep. 
That, that's my favorite strat for Trinex. I can never get it. I can never get behind quick enough. So there is a, a mark on the wall on the left side that, that really helps you. Uh, if you when you enter the room, you hold left and then you dash turn up. It, it makes it really easy. And then you menu to to the ice rod. I know we don't menu because of uh, quick swap, but it can really help you stop your dashing. Yeah, I, I usually play menu. Uh, I don't trust myself with quick, quick swap. I always overblow it. I've mirrored myself by the dungeons far too many times. <laughs> Lost fights. Sorry. I'm sorry. I have really bad trigger fingers, so I, I totally understand what, you, what you're saying. So I think we're in that interesting position of reflection here at the, uh, at the moment. Uh, Lana going into Spike Cave. Uh, which would logically have our mirror. Do you say we're in the moment of reflection as we are looking for the mirror? Yep. Um, yeah, <laughs> unintended one, because what I was actually going to say is as the other three frontiers finish a pod and just a heart piece in Spike Cave, uh, really, really goes to show you that that early flute from Lana really set her apart. Oh, as far as uh, getting ahead and progressing through the seed. Yep. And we even had two different examples, which was uh, both Bumble and Darkmore went straight to pack, and Old Man did the same path thing, or similar, but because he, he did not get that extra money from Mini Moldorm, he didn't have the 500 to do it, and it really hurt him in a way. And, but, I guess he's pretty close to them now, right? Yeah, like, he's... Like, all, all things considered, Old Man has made really quick progress on catching yeah. up. Um, We'll just see, like, it, it might it, it might be one of those things where it's an incidental, somebody accidents upon the mirror, which could really, really give them the, the push they need if Lana is not the first to find it. Oh, and now, now we're gonna find the reality here. Uh, Bumble is going to to Clara. So if the mirror is here, it's huge. Oh, absolutely, uh, massive. I think Lana's also in a position to be able to check big key chests. She is. She's the only one who would actually do so. The other two went there, but they did not. But didn't have the the hammer at the time, I believe. Both nice. uh, Bumble and Sunshine. Yeah, nice quick hair pop from Bumble. Uh, Dark picking up the either medallion. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't remember the uh, the item count on um, on Town. Town. I don't remember if there was, and if there is in fact an item in Vicky Chess. I think there is, though. Yeah, the, the thing is, uh, yeah, uh, um, so Lana did check the Agina after going to the mountain and then went to the mountain again to get Dark Death Mountain. That also helped. But, I mean, the whole play is only possible because she found the, the early flute. And Hera has. Oh, there's an item in the basement. Yep. <laughs> Which, all things considered in this seed, it would be the worst decision Bumble could make not to check that basement. Hey, I, I'm going to be honest. I would not go back. I would not. Not with Terra Rock to do. I feel like that's, like, such a common thing. Um... But I mean, in the, in the same vein, I've seen a fair enough of se enough seeds of people getting burned because the item was in here in basement. I 100% agree with you. I'm not saying that I'm right, especially because we're talking about Rando, and there's a lot before the things that is right or wrong. But I would not do it. Do it. it like it's such a big death, high density in in Terror Rock. I 
I, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, it, and it's also the, uh, the, the curse of not having to run the seed. We know that Bumble's not going to find Mirror. And yeah, exactly. And we have the big, big chest for her. Oh, the there we go. Is. Nice. All right. That is gross. Especially because Bumble and Old Man Sunshine have already completed Thieves Town. Yeah. Wait. Does Old Man Sunshine have the mirror? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. She didn't have to do the boss fight there. So true. And that is... Wait. What? What? Anna? What you doing? Lana. Wait, did we do we have something marked incorrectly? Why is Lana in the desert? Did Lana mark something? Lana must have marked something incorrectly on her tracker. There's a P right there. There's a P. Look at it. Look at your item. There's a P there. A P. It's a pendant. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you got your go mode, Lana. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would love to see you play, but don't need to do that. <laughs> She has marked as a red crystal. Oh my god, that is the worst feeling ever. That's why I always check the. I always look at the thing. I, I've had way too many ice palaces where I where I uh, believe as a crystal and see it falling down. Yeah, it's like moments like this are exactly why I don't do that like super quick map check like i'll check map and then i'll mark like i'll mark it on my tracker while i'm in the map i don't care if that's not the fastest or best way to do it it's just i'm not i don't want to be in this position that lana just like basically put herself in without realizing it probably mm -hmm. but in the same vein it does give the other runners some time to catch up a little bit more. That was about two and a half minutes. Yeah, something like that. So she's way well into uh, the way to, to finish first here in our uh, restraint. That mirror, because that, that mirror is tricky, and I don't know who's going to find it first. I am also surprised that uh, Bumble did not check Hookshot Cave before going to uh, TR. Yes, uh, it, not only because of the sword, but if you find a mirror before, before you do TR, you can do it slightly different, I guess. Yeah, because going in the TR with Mirror, you like you know you don't need to do anything. Yeah, I, I think. I think I, I think Lana was just giving us uh, a little bit more gameplay. Because the seed was too jab, jab. And we're not seeing more. Eh, I, I agree, but at the same time, uh, you can save a whole, you can save a whole uh, laser bridge if you go to, if you find a mirror there. Also, finding a sword saves you quite some time in uh, Trinance. 
especially if you're me and you don't know how to fight with the very nice uh, diver down. If you can't do try next to the hammer. Yeah, that, that was going to be my angle as oh. well. Was I'm not as comfortable doing a hammer try next as I am with the sword try next. Yeah, it's I it's not isn't too much difference. Yeah, I I I I've missed enough trying next try next fight with the hammer to disagree with that. <laughs> I'm really bad at it with hammer. Yep. Yeah, likewise, um, Moldorm has sent me round trip far too many times with a hammer Moldorm fight. Yeah, I I will favor the Master Sword over uh, over the hammer any every time on on Moldorm. Llama finishes Swamp Palace as Old Man Sunshine gives us a look at Pyramid Fairy. And so Which possible, it's so, so, so fast. I mean, we knew it was basically going to be nothing, but yeah. always fun to see. And now, now is the favorite, my favorite part. Uh, how long is it going to take for Lana to beat Hera? And I'm gonna bet 40 seconds. <laughs> Something like that. It's so fast to do Arago mode with uh hair pot. Yep. Lana had a very brief moment. Um Bum picking up picks up their tempered sword and hookshot cave. Lana had a brief moment where she almost took the vanilla route up to Hera. Uh, and then caught herself before she like took a step too far and realized that yeah you got it you gotta go up the dark way meanwhile chat is debating the technical aspects of the difference between hammer and sword. Yeah, I'm not saying it's... It, it, if people know how to play, I'm sure it's not much of a difference. To me, doing hammer uh, trinets, I've done it enough times. I've run them out of magic in it so many times, I'd just rather not. I'd say that I agree with you. I'm in the same vein of when it comes to hammer fighting all uh, certain bosses. No, I just suck at it. <laughs> I just rather have a sword. Exactly. Because like, yeah, hammer can be better for a lot for a, a lot of fights. It can mm -hmm. it can save you time. Um, however, me and hitboxes don't agree as long as it gets bounced back up twice. <laughs> I'm all torn. <laughs> Moldorm's like, use hammer! I don't want the sword! Lana won't have any of it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alrighty, so this is going to be a very quick game for us as Lana finishes and gets to do the very, very short, quick hike to GT. So let's go ahead and put those guesses in for where the GT big key is going to be. Yep. What's your number usually? Uh, I typically go with 11. 11? 11 is a good number. I'm going to go with 9. I really like 9. Yeah, you know, that, that 9, 10, 11, 12 is a really interesting set because it can change drastically just depending on which side you start with, which is why yeah. I like them. And, and if they don't pick the right chest to, for you to be right, you can just blame them, right? It's like... You picked the rainbow room chest incorrectly. How oh, dare you? Yep, or you got a last location, uh, Ice Armos. That was a very interesting, uh, Samaria block bounce. Yep. 
Yeah, you do the Samari dash and then pull the 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 pot and all it will usually land in the right place. You can't do it without pulling the pot from what I know. Okay, interesting. All right, Bumble's going to check Pyramid Fairy, which we know is unfortunately not the correct choice. No. As Old Man Sunshine finishes up uh, Cold Stare, and Dark is making their way to Hera. We do have a, we do have a oh. Butter Sword there for Lana. Nice. This is uh, not much of a difference, but every little bit helps. Although we know that Lana can very confidently... Mm -hmm. Just beat Ganon down, especially with Silvers. Yep. So that is number seven. And it's going to come to which chest Lana checks first in, in, in Dark Magician, maybe. Oh, look at that order. Oh. Eight, so nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of shield! Yes! See, it's like, no, Lana, you're going to finish it with a shield. You will. Uh, can we can we get a beer shield? Like, three, please. <laughs> so, it looks like Dark's going over to do Hera. Which isn't necessarily a bad play oh i just realized that's why that's why it felt like uh sunshine was so close he hasn't done castle tower yet so that means that's a good three four minutes back behind yeah i think bubble's going to check hammer peg in uh magic or you yeah, know just hammer pegs yeah All right, and Lana's checking Miranda room. Uh, yes, Aga was required to get uh, the either medallion off of Lumberjack Ledge so that we could get into TR. So this is 17. So basically, the only person that can actually get it is Solid with a 22. Very nice bomb strats there. I really like that. Very inventive. I really like it. Let's see what Bob's chest has for us. I, this one, I will say, this is probably my least boss fight, or my least favorite boss fight in the game is Ice Armos. Mm. Uh, just because of the tiles. <laughs> just because of the what? The uh, the tiles, the ice. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. And we have a 20 there for, for, for our big chest. Yep, I still think that puts Solit as the winner, which Solit doesn't get anything because they are tracking for us. Uh, and we can't show favoritism. <laughs> I mean, um, Solid does get uh, an infinite supplies of uh, of uh, ALTTPR seeds, seeds at ALTTPR.com, right? Yes, and even, uh, as I uh, alluded to earlier, they even get the, upgrade, the updated version with the fast ROM. Uh, and an ever-growing list of MSUs and sprites. So, randomizer is only getting better. Uh, I would say that we are not playing uh, closest without going over, because I did not specify that. Uh, and I will take the anger from chat for that. I got... I thought price right rooms were 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 universal. Is it is that how it works? 
I even research how Price is Right works for this conversation. We don't have Price is Right in Brazil. <laughs> Yeah, TTV chat's going to be a free blast location for Bumble and Old Man. Uh, there's a chance Darkenor goes there soon, because he never did. Uh... He never did to sound for safe place, I think. The back. Yeah, and it's like, that's always my worry too, like, especially when it's like Pendant Thieves, is... Okay, don't have hammer, can't check big chest. Um, knowing my luck, that's where the item's gonna be. And mm -hmm. it just, that's what it ended up being in this seed. My worst fear coming. So the best thing that could happen for Darkonor now is to, uh, yeah, to go Thieves. Thieves and for Bubble and Nodeman would be to bet on a pad play. So you just, let me just finish Thieves down here and if there's nothing, uh, I'll just do pad. Yeah, I think Bumble's actually gonna go and check Big Chest. Ooh. It looks like that's what he's going to do. So, uh, yeah, uh, Dark needs to actually just, I, I think Dark's just doing like a Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. Um, and Old Man's picking up their either medallion so that they can get into TR and be led astray by the logic of this seat. Great seat. Meanwhile... Lana and her shield are almost done with Agatu there. It's about the shield. It was all the shield. Book oh, yeah, and no, pad. We we know it was a shield, right? Yeah, no, it's definitely shield. Um, I think, yeah, I think I think it, it, well, we could say that book might actually be on pad. It would be funny. I mean, it can happen. All right, yeah. Bumble got the mirror, and they're going to promptly leave and never come back. Yeah, no, not, some people might uh, have a small misconception to that, but yeah, you do not need mirror um, book to actually put uh, pad in logic. Yeah, and it gives one of my favorite like little uh, hints in the game. What is the hint? Um. Uh, it's basically, wait, is this a paradox? Question mark. <laughs> because, you, because the only way to read it is to have the book. And the, yeah, the book it's true. That. It's either, it should be either that or, or wait, how are you reading this? <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> and Ganon is teleporting. And teleporting. There we go. Oh, crap. Teleporting. Teleporting. Yeah, get him being getting a big time here. Silver is my weakness. Yeah. Not really, come on. You know, we know, we know, you know, we know. Yeah, Lana really not playing around. Lana wants to get wants to get to the end of the seat. Mm -hmm. uh, which ooh. nice double hit there, and all Lana needs to do is cross our bridge there. And with an official time of one twenty nine oh nine, Lana Bean finishes first on restream here and second overall. GG. GG, Lana. That is a 
That's an interesting one, too. Uh, seeing the time difference between first and second, actually. Um, like We do know that there was a contributing factor in that uh, a lot of mismarked went into Desert Palace. Lost about two minutes. And it looks like Lana is joining us uh, here in the commentator booth. GG, Lana. GG's. Thank you, thank you, GG's. How's it going? Pretty great. It was a, it was a great seed, don't you think? So, about that desert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was we... my, literally my first question. <laughs> yep. I, I kind of mismarked. Kind of on autopilot, didn't look at the P. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. Uh, yeah, and um, we also realized that the game wouldn't let you finish without a shield. Apparently, rude, darn game. <laughs> they worked so hard to get rid of that first one. The game's like, oh, I, I heard you're missing this. Here you go. Uh, it's yeah, it's good old something missing, right? Apparently, so, games just got jokes. Well, so, so did Ganon. Oh yeah, the Ganon. That was quite a few uh, teleports as well. Yeah, I was kind of getting a little bored, a little sleepy, a little hungry. Thought you know, kind of bored here. I think a nap. <laughs> Ganon, uh... he's just teleporting. It's fine. It, it, it kind of funny watching it uh, through between um, Moldorm bouncing you back on the platform twice, uh, Aghanim having just a lot of blue balls today for some reason, and then Ganon teleporting, the shield, just the seed was doing everything it could to just remind you that it doesn't care how experienced you are, it has its ways of messing with you. Apparently. So true. That's um, like. Like, you got the myths early, and I'm thinking a lot of people probably missed the myths, right? A Guinness cave. And then it's like, okay, I'm just gonna go check medallions. If there's one ether, we're going Aga. So, interestingly enough, um, Sunshine got pretty early myths uh, mm -hmm. as well. But the thing that really set you apart from everyone else was that out of logic flute right there at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking that that could get some people early. I was like, if I get the money for Zora, we're just going to go do it. I don't care. It doesn't cost that much time. And if Zora ledges that, I never need to come back to this spot. And I got the flute. I was like, oh, okay. So there's an available mitt or a glove. So I was like, okay, let's let's start for the glove before we go to Dark World. And then I got the glove from Aguinas game. I'm like, cool. Well, let's get a new Saha set before we do Aggo. And we'll see what, oh, hi, mitts. Yeah, uh, old man actually uh, went to to uh, Zora as well, but he didn't have Zora money. It was at four sixty or something like that, and couldn't get the flipper, so it ended up being way far behind because of going to check stuff with the the mids. Oh, and we have a problem there. Old man Sunshine does not have enough magic to put down that uh Samaria block. Thankfully, there's a magic decanter a couple rooms back in the lower left pot of the uh, two pokies, so he's not that far away from magic. Yeah, so true. Um, he was looking on the right side, but I don't think there's anything there. Uh, but, um, and yeah, so in the end, it was a matter of uh, that, that flipper, that, that flipper, sorry, that, that flute, that was a big deal. We do, I, I do wanted to ask you about uh, the TR play. Did it cross your mind to do Hereford? Uh, it or, was in my brain, it was a pendant. So I was like, avoid pendants. Okay, that explains everything. Yeah, because in the yeah. end, I would do Hero before doing Thieves Town, but uh, I thought I was, I thought I had marked everything correctly, but apparently not. And that saved me a hero play, and that probably saved me a pyramid fairy, too. Oh, what? Yeah, it, it saved you quite a bit, because you were also the first one who was actually able to go in and fully clear Thieves Town. So you were the mm -hmm. first one to get the big chest and get that mirror, too. 
Oh, got you. Yeah, I thought that could mess some people up. I thought about dipping it early. I opened it up. And eventually I was like, you know what? Just avoid it. Let's go south. Let's see what we get towards Type Cave. Got the flippers. And I was like, okay. If I can get the hammer still more, then that opens up a lot. So I decided to go ahead and go to Mire. That got the hammer. Ice Palace. Pod. That got the ice rod. And suddenly I was in mirror go mode. And I thought I was in a lot of trouble. Because there was a lot of spots that mirror could be. And I got lucky enough choosing... Thieves Town early enough. Yeah, you've never, you've never entered uh, Eastern, right? Yeah, correct. I, I avoided Eastern. I was thinking about it, and then I got the mitts from Agina or from uh, Saha, and I was like, no, no, we're not touching that. I was hoping to avoid Pendant Dungeons altogether, but it looks like the only one I technically had to go into was Thieves Town. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'll just chalk that up to the Curse of the Green Pendant. The feeling, the desert feeling, it, it, I mean, everybody has been through that. Everybody has beaten a dungeon. Oh, yeah. I, I should have I should have looked and seen the pee in the corner. Just out of habit, I should look at that. Just be like, okay, is this the right dungeon? No, it's not. Leave. Map check. Okay, here. I... That didn't happen, but at the same time, honestly, the big key on the torch. Go right to the boss. That probably saved me more time than some other mistakes could have. So I'm okay with that. Yeah, well, it, it, it's the thing. When you don't have to do the dungeon or you're gonna have to full clear it, it's gonna be a godmire or a god or a god desert, right? Exactly. I was, I in the end, I was like, okay, that could lose me a couple of places in the race. But honestly, my route I thought was good enough to get probably top five. I didn't think I was good enough for top two. But even if I didn't do desert, I think I still would have been about two, two and a half minutes behind. Um, first place. So a big uh, GG's to Big Dunka, Mr. Ladder person. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, uh, no. sorry, go ahead. No, uh, no, no, please. Oh, okay. Um, like, it's just surprising because, yeah, Desert cost you two minutes, uh, almost flat two minutes with the, with the, uh, pendant cutscene. And so, like, even accounting into that, like, yeah, Dunka really, really blew for this seed. I could see that, like, if I don't do Smith Chain early, I probably, and if I don't do Smith Chain, if I mark my dungeons correctly, I'm probably within about 30 seconds of Dunka, plus or minus. So I think I'm, I don't know if I'm a little bit, like, for instance, I could have avoided um, George, aka uh, Under the Bridge guy. That would last me about 30, 40 seconds. So there's just a few overworld checks that I did that could have been avoided, that could have easily gotten me four minutes. So it's it's understandable, like with a few skips, uh, how Duncan did that. Yeah, but it's one of those things, right? If if, if your go moment is one of those, and is one of those, and you're four minutes ahead, then we're having a whole different conversation of how you, uh, you did that and saved your four minutes, right? It's just how random it is. It, it was possible to, to make a, a like same time but considering what you have and how did what this seed required your time is pretty amazing well thank you i got lucky with some early decisions like you said that flute probably alone saved me minutes alone I mean, uh, with, with the mobility i mean luck's quite a part of random i guess right yeah yeah and yeah. some sure got what hook shot as well um uh, then the flute that pushed me up the mountain early got me the bow uh there and i Think was that it all in that mountain? I can't remember. There's one thing, one play you did that I I really liked, uh, which was I mean it, it I know it didn't didn't give you any progression, but it was the second you found mitts you went straight back up because he gave you the tempered sword and the information about the 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 the, the, the yeah yeah. Yeah, we that's, just, we, we, that's we, why I was going. I was going for that. Yeah. Yeah, we see a lot of players uh, after after the first time you go up the mountain, you feel a little bit hesitant going the second time because it is such a uh, big distance to 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 follow. But I I really like the the bonus of just oh I got mitts, I'm going back up, I'm checking this, I'm checking this medallion and getting the extra items. Exactly. That was purely for the medallion check. I was like, if I end up getting something else while I'm up there, great, but I don't expect it. I just was looking to get info on Aga, so if that was not Ether, I would have saved and quit and gone to Meyer area. Mm -hmm. So as it stood, though, it ended up being Ether. Meyer area was moot, so I decided to hold off on that. 
Uh, and then did aggro right away, and that just um, kind of got the ball rolling, I guess. Gotcha. Yeah, and um, by your early, do you have any reservations with that? Nah, not at all. I had Tempered Sword, a cape for safety. There was very little keeping me out of Meyer at that point. I had all three medallions, so I knew it was a thing, and I also knew I was looking for progression still. So, yes, two items, but at the same time, I had to do I had to do the dungeon, so I was okay going in there. Like if you have like five, six hearts, fighter sword, maybe I'm a little more hesitant, but at the time I think I had six or seven hearts and tempered and a cape and that that just it's it's pretty easy at that point. Yeah. Cape cape to to deal with Vinny is and as long as you don't have fighter sword is pretty Pretty much a cakewalk. Yeah, even with Fighter Sword, it just means you need to spin a few times, and I'd have magic, I think, too. But you set up yeah. you, set, you set up your spins, you run out of magic, and you clean it up with bombs or arrows if you've got them, which I did. So there's plenty of ways to get rid of it pretty easily, and I think I got lucky with that hammer location for sure. Yeah. Overall, it was a great a great sequence of plays. I mean, I I was I was really excited to watch this. And we were, I believe. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we we're, we're definitely definitely having fun. Uh, got yeah, chat was having fun too. Awesome, uh, chat chat so uh, chat makes the world go around on Twitch. So and uh, SG chat. So hi SG chat, love you. And of course, thank you all for doing this, uh, especially late signups for the commentary tracking all that stuff. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I love com. I love coming these races, and I'm super happy with the return of the uh, the weekly casual. Oh, absolutely. I had issues getting into the booth here for a minute. Uh, the, the Discord lately has not let me in very often, and it took me four attempts to get into here. So, yay, it worked. <laughs> yeah, it's been really temperamental, uh, especially over the last couple of weeks would let people in yeah but you know what hopefully they'll get that fixed soon but it's fine mm-hmm right, yeah, I mean, uh, i'm happy that the, the the we're not dealing with the screen freezes anymore so absolutely Wait, okay we were talking about the same thing for a second of, for a second of silence i was like okay did i miss the whole point of the conversation <laughs> i'm sorry it's just been a little bit of a long day Hey, we get to watch Gan and uh, teleport around again on Bumble Sun. That's neat. Oh, yeah, but... and I guess we would see what what uh, Arlo's knights had for us. As old man's going for, for to be Easter. Oh goodness! I hope it's not the book. Like really? Yeah, it's oh. like, and I think. He's taking a moment, and I've done this to myself multiple times too. Just, I, I think he's outsmarted himself on the seed, mm -hmm. and he's completely written off Thieves Town because he's already beat it. That's what you do, right? You go through, you end up with one item there, and you're like, okay, well that's the last location. Understandable. Yeah, oh. and um, uh, for for me especially, like that, that's always my big fear with pendant thieves specifically is there's always like i don't have a hammer there's the item i need is going to be in big chest exactly it's yeah, it's you know, that's one of the reasons why i don't go in there without a hammer very often yeah i um, like i i like this i actually like skipping that check it's something i do very often and very and it should have been more punished than i have i had fully admit <laughs> ggs to bumble GG's Bumbo, and unfortunately we do have a forfeit from from old man, and it happens. I mean, there there sometimes it just look at a seed said I don't know what else to do. Now, yeah. Really quick, really quick, I'll give a I'll give a big thank you to you Tap to Solit as well for tracking, Arterol for tracking, Rowan. Thank you very much for commentating as well. I'm gonna duck it out of here. I know there's gonna be interviews coming soon for people, but. Thank you very much for the restream. I hope you all have a good rest of your Saturday. And I'll catch you all next time. Yeah, likewise. Hey, I hope you have a good one. Yeah, thank you very much and have a good one. You too. GG's. GG's. GG's.
GG's. Alrighty. And uh, as, I was, as I was saying, official time of one hour, 43 minutes and 45 seconds for Bumble being our second finish in on restream here. And now, Dark doing Agatu. See, I imagine that uh, we will see Bumble momentarily if he wants to do an interview. Yeah, I, like, I wonder, can we get on? Oh, never mind. Fortunately, we do not have audio. And Darknor is on the way to, to Ganon. And we get to see a lot more teleports there. Yep. And uh, yeah, the Go Chat, I reasonably certain Dark was the one with the unapproved MSU, which you missed because we were debating that while we were trying to see if picks could come in. Oh, uh, okay. Um, That makes sense. I mean, I understand there are restrictions, which is a bit. Yeah, I just wish it was more consistent. Uh, like e even, like within the same game, some MS user approved, some MS user not, uh, and then yeah, uh, Dark was doing the come with over sixty four MSU. I I want to say it was. So that was eight teleports. There's a there's an interesting thing about music and Twitch and stuff. Um, for, yeah, YouTube as well. For uh, um, Kingdom Hearts Rando, players are supposed to stop their game before the final uh, song because it's copyright. It hits copyright. So you can't play the final song of uh, Kingdom Hearts Randomizer. That makes sense to me, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's understandable how it works. Making sense is a little bit much for me. <laughs> well, I mean, when you have copyrighted music in your game, like that, that makes a little bit more sense. Sure, but it, it's one of those things that it, it usually if you... It, it falls under, I don't know if it's free use or something like that, but it, it's the same reason why you don't get flagged for copyright when you play A Link to the Past. You know, the regular, the vanilla, vanilla uh, MSU. Or... Yeah, all right, and Gigi's the dark for beating Ganon. Uh, gonna see what this race time is here in a moment. The uh, official uh, race time GG time of one forty seven fifty nine for dark. Right, GGs. This was quite a seed. Yeah, definitely one of the meaner seeds. Actually, think about like especially for a casual boot seed, like. A good chunk of the runners closer to the two hour, uh, like hour 45, two hour mark. Yeah. But, so, in the end, the seed, uh, he had to do a lot of weird checks in the beginning. Yeah. Uh, like, get the mitts, get the flute. Which, which is great if you find, if you find a flute early. It's interesting how 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 much of a different seed it is if you find a flute early instead of finding uh, you find the mitts early, because the mitts shoots you far away from that the from the flute. 
Yeah, definitely. Early miss is one of the worst things uh, you can get, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was handpicked for bad locations, yeah. And, uh, yeah, to top it off, the, the, the big chest for Town was... I guess, I guess the only the only situation could be worse is if Thief Sound by any chance is a crystal. So there's uh there odds are people people beat it before finding that hammer. Double S locating, yeah. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I guess um uh I'm guessing Dark might not hop in for an interview Be uh i've never watched them play before so i don't know if they do or don't and obviously we've been having trouble with people getting into the commentary booth hey together hey dark gg all right there he is Oh, what a what a seed! <laughs> Sorry for <laughs> my. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely had a problem with that uh, that flute and uh, the the mirror, right? Yes, the mirror was uh, up to, I, th I think the, I thought the flute was was pretty early for me. The the mirror was absolutely last locating for me. But if I found the titans in uh, uh, near desert, oh my god, Agina! Did it, did they ever, if you ever, like, hit you in the back of the head, like, I should check Agina, should check Agina instead of doing other things? Or it was it never in your head to start, start but? No, it was never in my head, uh, cause, uh, there, uh, I'm not so, so, uh, such a good player, there was such good people, so I skipped all Seastown and all the dungeons, I skipped, I did a straight run to Maya after I got the mids, and then I tried to to gamble a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not sure. Sure, if I agree with you with the, the being not a good player, but uh, yeah, but against the other one, uh, it, uh, I mean, um, there's all, <laughs> uh, there are many good players here. That does not mean <laughs> you're not a good player. But yeah, yeah, you gotta you. remember <laughs> that the nature of uh, essentially competitive randomizer is. You're gonna have a first place. You're gonna have a last place. That, yes, that's, that's that's true. Yeah, um, yep. I think I think you like all things considered, you did a pretty good job. It was just when you for how long you put off Thieves Town to go and get that mirror because you were the second person who could act, who went into Thieves Town able to actually get the mirror the first time around. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I was thinking, in, do I know the, uh, the Hammersmith and the Purple Chest, or I go Thiefstone? Uh, I think, okay, go Thiefstone. <laughs> and then, every time there's a progression, and yeah. Desert was maybe also an option, but Thiefstone got more checks for me to get it, and yeah. So, how but, did you how did you feel when you realized that, uh, I, wait, did you, I can't remember for sure, did you do Aga before? Uh, finding out you needed ether, I can't remember for sure. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, yes, I did. Yes, I did. We did it before, and uh, I got two medallions. And uh, before I went to the Dark Death Mountain, I thought, uh, okay, come, let let me call. Uh, if Turtle Rock would would be ether, I would be uh, moved down from the mountain again. Uh, so I collect them to get all three medallions, and then okay, Turtle. It was a good play. Turtle Rock was ether for me. But I do Aga before uh, Eastern, and also. That was my first gamble to Aga pretty early. <laughs> yeah, and in the end, it was needed, but it wasn't needed, right? It's one of, one of those Aga. Yeah, yes, <laughs> that Aga was my Dark World access. It wasn't needed if I saw the Titans on Agina. <laughs> uh. Oh, right. Um, unfortunately, we do have another race coming uh pretty soon so we need to to cut this short uh do you have any final words for us dark Lord, before we we close this yeah thanks a lot and greets from germany uh was pleasure to play with, with some other guys 
and thanks for WeStream and yeah. Hey, likewise, thank you for restreaming. Uh, good to see you on the board. Anyone who's willing to restream for the circus, uh, high marks in my book. Absolutely. And yeah. Uh, any any final words, Ryan? No. Uh, oh. Just. Or, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. If you have any final words, Dark. No, no, it was my final words. Uh, I okay, already said, okay. no. no. <laughs> uh, well, you know, uh, anyone still with us? Go ahead and please give a give a follow or a subscription or a subscribe to our runners, Lana Bean Bumble, Old Man Sunshine, Dark North Six Six Six, as well as my co-commentator Tepadino and our wonderful trackers, Art Tarl and Solit, who kept us informed and honest the entire race. And I hope everyone has a good rest of your day. If you go ahead and uh, you can see us out, Tepi. All right. Thank you so much. I made your words mine. Thank you very much for everybody who helped us make this happen. Trackers are absolutely awesome. Thank you for everything. And thank you, chat. You're awesome. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good one, guys.